Okay, uh, so as I mentioned in last week's video, and again, this is part of a series, there should be an annotation on the screen that will bring you to the full playlist. Every Wednesday, I'm putting out a new video on Python 3. And today, we're going to be looking at converting integers to floats uh, and strings to integers and, and floats to integers and all back again. Um, so, although I've talked about this in previous videos, what are the differences? Well, a string is basically words. They're groups of words or a word. Uh, an integer is a whole number where a float is a number uh, with decimal points. And there is a big difference when it comes to working with them because if you have a number that is a string, you can't add it to something else. So I'll give you an example. Let's say I say x equals and I put in quotations here 5. I can say print uh, well, actually, I can just put x if I want, and it says x is 5. I say x, it says 5. But you'll notice it's inside uh, the quotations there, which means it's a string. And if I try to say x plus 4, which would be should be 5 plus 4, which would be 9, it's going to give me an error because we're trying to add a string, which it does not recognize as a number at this point, an integer. It's seeing it as a string, and it goes, I can't add a word to a number that doesn't make any sense. Um, so what I could do is I could say x equals 5 without any quotation. So I just overwrite wrote what x equals. x no longer equals 5, the string. It now equals 5. And if I hit x here and hit enter, uh, it equals 5, the integer. And I can say 5 plus 4, and I get 9. And I could also say x equals 5.0. Zero, and if I say x, now it says five. Uh, x equals five point zero, and if I say um, x plus four, now it's going to say nine point zero because anytime you add a float to an integer, it's going to convert. The answer is going to be a float which has decimal points. So, how do I convert from one to another? Uh, well, uh, right now, x equals a float 5.1 or 5.0 I'm sorry what I could do if I wanted it to be an integer if I don't want that decimal places anymore all I have to do is say int for integer and inside parentheses put x and now well that didn't change the value of x that made that that just outputted what x would be if it was an integer because if I say x now it's still a float because uh, 5.0 uh, and if I was say five, x plus four, I get nine. But I could do int for integer uh, x plus four, and we get nine. That's not a float; it's an integer. But still, x equals uh, it, it, x is still an uh, x is still a float. Uh, so it's a little sloppy to do this, although you can. But a better way would be to take the output of that and put it into a new variable or replace x with itself as an integer. So right now, x is 5 as a float. I can say x equals integer x. Now, if I say x, x is 5. Uh, so I convert it from a float to an integer, basically replacing it with itself in a different form. To move it back, to being an integer, or I'm sorry, to being a float, I can say x equals float and put x in there. Now if I hit x, you can see it's back to being a float. And again, uh, I can also go to a string by saying uh, string x, which outputs it, as you can see with quotations. Um, so it's that's string, but that's just the output again to make x equal that. We have to say x equals string x and now x is a string but you notice that it does have the point zero so remember if you're going to convert it to a string from a number of some sort if you want to display that decimal point you have to make sure it's a float first if you don't want that you make it an integer first so but I can take it from a string I'm sorry it is a string and make it an integer oh that does not work um, can I make it a float? That That's... Okay. So, if it's a... If, if you make it a string, 
from a float, you can't go directly from a string to an integer. You gotta convert it to a float and then into uh, an integer. So x equals float x, which x was still a string, but here we're saying look at it as a float, but then so now x is ed a float, and now we can say x is integer, and now x is an integer. So what did I do before? I went from I went to a from a float to a string. Now I'm going to go from an integer to a string. So I'm going to say x equals string. And so now x is a string without uh, the decimal point because I went from a f integer, which is a whole number, to a string. I hope I'm not confusing you from going back and forth. Um, so now let's go x, or let's just just say float. X. So as you can see, you can go from a string that was an integer to a float, but you can't go from a string that was a float directly to an integer because it sees that decimal point and it confuses it. So keep that in mind. Um, you could also, let's say, okay, so X currently is a string, but we're going to convert it to a float. So now if I say X, X is a float. And if I was now to convert x back to a string from a float, and x is a string of 5.0, as we said before, this won't work, integer x, because it's, it's going, oh, that decimal point is throwing me off. Um, what we could do, and I'm pretty sure this is going to work, although I haven't tried it yet, I can put the float convert inside an integer convert and I can hit enter and it displayed that now we once again we did not convert it because x is still a string but I could go x equals uh, this integer uh, float so basically what this is saying so now it is an integer we're saying take x we're working inner from the inners to the outs take x which is a string it was this and convert it to a float, and then take that and convert it to an integer. So you can do it that way. Because the reason you can't go uh, from a string that was a float into an integer is because it's not seeing it properly. So if we say something like x equals um, cookie, Co no, that's not right, <laughs> cookie. <laughs> See, now that won't be able to con be converted to either. I can say integer x, it's going to give me an error. And I can say uh, float x, and it's going to say the same thing. Because there's no way to convert cookie into a number. Um, so, so that's for the, basically the same reason that you can't go from a string that was a float. You know, before I started this tutorial, I thought it was going to be simple, and it is simple. But I feel like I've almost made it confusing for you. But again, there are three different types, integers, floats, and strings. And you can convert them easy, either using this and putting whatever it is inside there from to convert it to a string, convert it to an integer, or convert it to a float. Um, so that was today's tutorial. Uh, again, I hope I didn't confuse you guys. It, it's pretty straightforward. If I made it sound confusing, I apologize. Um, and basically, the most important part of this is to remember that if you have something that was a float and is now a string, you can't directly go to an integer. You have to do it uh, either in, in two steps, either in two commands or one like this. Because um, technically, I could uh, put this inside something and convert it to a string, but it's already a string. So basically, I would convert it from a string to a float to an integer and back to a string all in one command. <laughs> So it would be a little silly to do that. Anyway, uh, again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the annotation for the full playlist. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. I hope you check that out. I hope you subscribe. And I hope that you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.